Well, hello, at it again. This is just a, a quick shits and giggles sort of uh, video, really. Just testing out the new microphone. It looks like it's working. Down on the Jubilee River again, right down the bottom end. Just set up a five metre whiff. I'm just going to have a, a few hours of whip fishing. I haven't even got a keep net. Um, never fished for little fish down here before. Just straighten that up a bit. Um, never fished down here for little fish before, so it'll be interesting to see what's down here. Um, I've got a little underwater camera out down, just down the shelf really. There's a little gravelly spot. So I've chucked a little bit of ground bait, a few pinkies down there. And we'll see what the fish make of that. Gram and a half olive rig, five metre whip, three balls of ground bait chucked out there with a few pinkies in, and we'll uh, see what happens. Hope I don't get anything big. Ooh. Right, first chuck. Yeah, hope I don't get any, anything big because I've I didn't bring my nets, landing net, nothing. Hey, oh. Had two bites. Got a few pinkies for the hook. About to swing that one, that would have been carbon splinters everywhere, I reckon. Lovely roach. Eight ounce. I do. I'd like to start catching a few skimmers on here, like. There must be areas where they where they are. Another decent roach. Whoa. Don't think anybody ever fishes down here for these. Any people I've ever seen down here are lure anglers. Oh. Little bit of flow, not a lot. Oh, there's a little perch in front of the camera down there. Probably about 11 foot deep at 5 metres. Oh, there's a bit of a breeze going up that way, but there, there is a bit of flow.
nice little stamp. I'm chucking maggots down the edge here in four foot of water. They're, they're probably travelling four foot before they hit the bottom. I think it's a case of where, it, where it's shallowing up. It's it sort of forced to speed up a little bit. I prefer the red pinkies today. <clears throat> I'm a little roach. Put one perch as well. Definitely slowed up a bit. I'll stick a couple of sections on just see if they've backed off a little bit. I'm only mucking about really, so I'll be probably packing up soon. But I've had pretty much a bite of chuck. But it has gone a bit quiet. Yeah. Oh, lost a little git. It's more of a mic check video, this really. <laughs> An excuse to get out. Flip it out. Sections on. Annoying. 
example of the most annoying, stupid, pointless fish ever. Wow, look at that. Amazing the difference just adding on a couple of meters. Makes. You can sort of see that in my previous underwater videos. Those the roach were kind of hanging back. Um, now obviously. You could add on a section or two. Eventually that's just going to push them out even further. You know, are they, are they backing off the feed or are they backing off the zone? And their mates are getting caught and they're realising If you started feeding further out, would they move further out? Fuck her off. Wasp. This kind of annoying bit of duckweed crap as well. It's making life periodically difficult every once in a while it kind of invades my swim you want the wind to blow or not down the swim, but on my feed line. Yeah, there's fish there, you see. Yeah, it's like they're associating the, what was your kill zone? becoming a danger zone for them and they're avoiding it. You kind of wouldn't think they'd be that spatially aware, but... Come on, watch this. Duck weed bugger off. It's like a pain in the ass. going to feed, but I'm going to feed on my original spot. That floats two meters away from where I was fishing at least. Those fish are bigger than what I was catching before it dried up. Being summoned pack up in a bit let's catch 
much one more. Yeah. Gonna end on a bleak. That doesn't count. We're back on the close in line. Where are the wasps coming from? Get away from me. Oh. Probably the smallest roach of the day. It'll have to be the last. Right, I'm packing up. Bit of fun. I'll see you later.